Welcome to Mr. Tech Guy for another Tech Tuesday review. Now today I'm going to be showing you my idea of a smart home control panel. Now many people have tried to do their own smart home control panels. If you look around on the internet there's loads of different uh, options out there, what people have done, suggestions and everything like that. I'm going to show you my version of it now. So many people have loads of different items in their house, in their smart home all connected through different apps and what some people like to do is they like to put tablets up on the wall so you have loads of Android tablets and you have, have them positioned around your house on the walls to display certain apps so say you've got some Nest items, some Nest cameras or anything like that you'll have a Nest account logged in on one tablet displayed on one wall you'd go into another room and there'll be a Samsung Smart Things account logged into on, onto the other. Now, the way I've gone about it is probably um, the most cost saving because you don't have to buy so many devices, you can all do it on one. And it does use the Samsung Smart Things Hub. So if you have got the Samsung Smart Things Hub, it's ideal for yourself. And if you're looking at a control panel, which way is the best way to go about it and make sure you stay tuned to this video come going to tell you what i've done so what i've gone and done two weeks ago i made a purchase on amazon for this it's a fusion 5 all-in-one pc now it's 17.3 inches which is a lot bigger than most tablets and fusion 5 is a, li a little company it was founded in 2002 and it was based in new zealand it still is in New Zealand. It's stretched now a bit to Australia as well. They've got about nine factories now. They employ about 390 people, so it's still a relatively small company. So their products can actually be brought off Amazon and they are fairly cheaply compared to the other big companies because these guys are still trying to get onto the market. So this has a 2.5 gigahertz processor. It has got its own inbuilt battery as well so it's a bit like a tablet you can carry it around like a tablet and use it on the go it's got a 2500 milliamp hour battery built in it which lasts around about four hours of battery life depending on your what you're actually doing your activity on the pc it's a full hd screen like i said 17.3 inch which is quite impressive um, it's really good quality screen it has got a front camera on it as well, but it's only a 2 megapixel camera. Um, there's a lot of other good features about it as well, which I'm going to show you as I'm going through the video. But when you buy the pack on Amazon, it costs around about £259, or if you want the one with the, the 500 gigabytes hard drive, it has, a, it has got 32 gigabytes built in, the standard model. But if you do want the 500 gigabyte hard drive with it as well, built in, you will have to pay an extra £50, so that one's £300. But I've gone for a standard because I don't need the room, I'm only using it for a smart home panel. So mine was £259, which is an absolute bargain for what you're getting for the processor. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM as well, which is DDR3 RAM. So it's really powerful for what I want to do. And in comparison to anything else on the market from some of the big sellers you're looking at sort of the Dell Dell range and everything like that Dell have got a product out that's very similar and theirs is £629 on Amazon at the moment so this is a proper well it's a money saver a massive money saver compared to spending on the likes of Dell or a well known brand uh, you could say it's a little bit of a risk going to an unknown brand but if you buy it off Amazon it's never really a risk because Amazon's money back and guarantee for 30 days and their return policy is absolutely brilliant so if you ever do any finding problems just send it straight back to Amazon it's brilliant it's got at the back of a PC it's got three USB cables or USB ports should I say it's got a HDMI port and it's also got an Ethernet port so you can plug it directly into the internet, you can plug your TV or anything into it as well or even use it on your PlayStation if you wanted to uh, as a, just a standard display. Um, 
but it also comes with a mouse and a keyboard that's all part of a pack so it's full full kit that works and I'm going to show you how I've done my smart home panel so like I said I use a Samsung smart home uh, Samsung smart things app and if you've got a hub and you've got loads of things connected to your Samsung smart things and you're building your main house around the Samsung smart things and this is absolutely brilliant for you so I'll show you the PC now So this is a PC, like I say, it's, it's really lightweight, it comes with its stand at the back, so it's a fold down stand, and as you can see, I've got the charger port plugged in at the bottom, you've got three USBs there, so you've got three USBs, one, two and three, HDMI, power cable, SD card reader as well, and you've also got your Ethernet here at the end. You have also got an audio jack as well, this end. So a 3.5 standard audio jack. So it's got quite a lot of the works of what you'd need for a standard tablet or a PC. It's very lightweight. It's quite thin as well for an all-in-one PC. It's incredibly thin. It has got this back part here which is obviously where the main processor is and the main uh, motherboard and the battery, mainly the battery is all in there. So it does stick out a little bit of the back but it's still plenty good enough to sit onto the wall. Now I'm just going to show you what program I'm doing my smart home panel on. So to do my smart home panel on this PC, I'm using a program called action tiles now action tiles used to be called smart tiles now smart tiles changed its name in around about 2015 2014 time and they changed to action tiles now with action tiles what you can do is all your things that are connected to Samsung smart smart things you can actually build them and yourself and customize it all yourself on this app or on this um, website so what you do is you pay for an account you, have, you do have a 14 day trial period to have it give it a go and then you pay for an account the account is a lifelong subscription so it's just a one-off payment and it's around about uh, 21 22 pounds it's around about um, thirty dollars, but you pay. It's just a one-off payment, and what you can do is that you can create. I'll just try and get it so that you can see most of it with the light. So what you can do is you can create these panels. Now with these panels, just try and turn it. So you can see it with the light a little bit better. So with this panel, what I've got here on mine is all the things I've got connected to my smart smart things, Samsung Smart Things Hub. It's all accessible on the Action Tiles website. And basically what you do is you link your hub and you can just go straight into the Action Tiles platform once you've linked your hub and add all your items to it. Then you can customize how big of a tile they, they appear on and then just move them about wherever you want to, arrange it exactly the way you want to. So with these, with, a, uh, with Nest Cams, so if you've got any Nest Cameras as well, you can also link them and they will show a live video feed. So these are live video feeds in the center of the screen. Back door, if you've got a smart home back door, you can also link that as well. You can also do um, present sensors for people who live at your address. And you've also got um, the Samsung motion sensors also take a temperature reading. So you can change that to temperature at the top, which I've done. And then 
down here in the middle I've got my smart home plugs which are all connected and up, across the bottom I've also got my lights now I'm going to be adding more and more to this as I configure more of my smart smart home things but I just want to show you how neat and tidy it looks and eventually it'll be go, going up on my wall I'll show you that at probably a later video but eventually it'll go up on my wall and I can access this all through touchscreen so if I wanted to turn on this light for instance what the room was sat in now I can press that button and the light comes on so it works works fully in the environment it's if I wanted to view a camera I can click on one of my Nest cams so as soon as you click to one of the Nest cams you can actually click on it and it will load a, a big screen of it so you can actually see a, a a good sizable screen there with a live view of what's happening in your house or wherever you position your nest cams the same goes for any other nest cams you've got you can also link your doorbell so the if you've got a ring doorbell either a ring video doorbell the first one or the pro or the ring video doorbell 2 you can link any of them to the this command center on action towers or anything you want to add to action towers you have to add it to samsung smart smart things hub first so with the doorbell from ring it just tells you if anyone's active at the door but if you did want a video feed to it you can actually create yourself a hyperlink which will send you to the ring website you just log in and you can view the live view there so it's really good, it's really customizable. You can make your own panel look, you know, all the colours, the sizes and everything. You can make it suit what you've got in your house. So the main reason for having it on this all-in-one PC is obviously the size, being able to fit all of my apps on one screen and it not be a 10 inch tablet or anything like that it's a good size to have on your wall in your house as a proper command center so for 250 pounds worth of computer and around about 22 23 pounds worth of software in action tiles you can properly have a full-on command center in your house on your walls of any of your room and you can actually take it off your wall walk around and use it as a tablet as well so it's a multifunctional device it's got loads of different uses and like I say if you want to have a look on Amazon at the tablet I will put a link in the description I, I really do recommend it it's a brilliant tablet uh, well brilliant all-in-one PC should I say for the money you cannot find uh, you cannot find the same sort of specs for an all-in-one PC especially with touchscreen from a different company with that's anywhere near the price bracket a lot of them are double the price so I definitely recommend looking at this computer on Amazon like I say I'll leave a link below and get yourself on action tiles as well if you have got a Samsung smart things hub get yourself an action tiles get yourself an account just try it for 14 days you don't have to pay anything for your trial but you can try it for 14 days you've got the full version for 14 days see how you like it connect loads of your stuff up to, up to it create your own panel like I have if you do like it then it's worth the £23 that you have to spend for the one-off payment there's no subscription you don't have to pay every year or anything like that it's just a standard one-off payment and you can access it on any computer that's the main thing as well so if you're at work and you've you, you work at a computer at work and at dinner time you want to turn on a smart plug for for anything so you could you be, it could be a dishwasher it could be your wash machine it could be your it could be your oven or anything like that 
Um, if you wanted to turn anything on while you were, you can just log into the Action Tiles website and it, your panel will be presented to you. So you can control it from work, from on your mobile as well. You can actually just, there's no app, there's no app for Action Tiles, but you can just go on the internet browser on your mobile and control it through that. But if you have got your mobile on you, it's probably easier to just use the apps that come with the smart home products. But for a control panel, just to finish off your smart home, or to add a useful way to view everything on your smart home, then I definitely recommend having a look at this tablet or this all-in-one PC and have a look at Action Tiles. I'll leave a link in the description to both of them, both the product and Action Tiles itself. And give me your comments below. So what do you think of Action Tiles? Have you, have you looked at this Fusion 5 PC? It's an A7 model as well. The Fusion 5 A7 is what you need to look at. Have you brought one? What are your reviews about it? If you've got any questions or anything, then leave me a comment below. If you've liked the video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again next week for another Tech Tuesday. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon.